Okay, today we're going to be demoing how to use digital imaging using the ScanX sensors. Okay, this would be the indirect or wireless digital imaging. Remember that indirect means that you have to take your sensor once you've captured your image and scan it to the computer. Okay, so indirect or wireless. Okay. Here we have a couple of things I'm going to show you what what they are and how we use them. This would be equivalent, this black box would be equivalent to your lead box. Once you take your image, you open it up and you drop it in and there's a little slit in here. I'll open it up. Okay, so you can see the little slit right in here. And it falls into this black box. Of course we know in, in dental materials and radiology, anything that comes in a dark uh, bottle or container or any of that, it's because it's light sensitive. Okay, These were given to us, purchased, excuse me, through Gendex product. This is a plate transfer box, okay, and it's by Air Techniques, and you can see on there AT ScanX, all right. This is a different type of transfer, image scan um, transfer box. There's this one and there's this one. This has a little black sponge, okay. You would take your image, open up your sensor, drop it in here, close it, Okay. The only thing again is that this is a lot more, you got to open and open and open. As to this one, you just drop it in, open it and drop it in. Okay. Now, there's different sizes. Okay. There's size 0 by Gendex, size 1, size 2, which we're familiar with, and size 3. Okay. This is the Gendex product sensor. Okay. Notice that it has a big 2 on it. Again, that indicates the size of the sensor. Gendex is the, the brand. This little gold dot indicates a dot in the slot. And there's a little indicator on the back, too. Okay. This indicates the, man the year it was made and that's the serial number to the sensor. Okay. Normally you can get anywhere between 800 to 1000 exposures on a sensor before you have to start, uh, before you have to buy a new one, the quality starts to degrade, um, it's not as good. Okay. Air Techniques is another brand, okay, and there again you see the name, you see the size, serial number, the difference here is that on this one, and let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. The difference here is that there is a little A instead of the dot. So Gendix has a gold dot. Air Techniques has a little A, which of course indicates Air Techniques. And there's a little A on the back too. So instead of the dot in the slot, for, if you're using Air Techniques, it will be, let's see if I can get this focused it will be A in the slot. Okay. These sensors need to be in a barrier. Okay. This is the barrier. Okay. So if a test question is what side do you shoot at on the sensor? Well, if it's without a barrier, which you shouldn't shoot at it anyway without a barrier because this goes into the mouth and it contaminates it. Okay? But you never, you know, you never know with some offices, okay? You would, it would be the light blue, okay? But again, they must be in a barrier, okay? The way the barrier works is you place your sensor in the barrier so that you can read the information, okay? There's a little sticky tag right here. You remove it and you make sure it's sealed, okay? And now, if you were shooting at this sensor, you would be shooting at the dark blue or black, depending on the barrier, okay? Right? 
Now, how do you take it? Once you take the image, then right here, in the little V section that's already slit, you would rip it carefully and drop it in the box. Of course, you wouldn't touch it. I touched it because it was stuck and I was using one hand, but you would drop it in there, all right? Now, I'm going to show you how you would take the image and then scan it.